Hello my dear friends, well, let us consider some of the numerical problems based on Kohlrausch law. So the first one is, we have calculate the molar conductivity of silver iodide AGI at zero concentration. If the molar conductivity is of sodium iodide, silver nitrate and sodium nitrate at zero concentrations are 126.9, 133.4 and 121.5 um, ohm inverse cm square mole minus 1 respectively. So now to begin with, when we start with the Kohlhaas law itself, so what we can say is the molar conductivity at zero concentration of NaI this is expression number one is equal to <coughs> lambda zero of Na plus plus lambda zero of I minus. Molar conductivity of AgNO3 will be equal to lambda zero of Ag plus and lambda zero of NO3 minus molar conductivity of NaNO3 is lambda 0 of Na plus plus lambda 0 of NO3 minus. Okay, this is according to the Collage law in the previous video. I've already explained you that, isn't it? Now, <clears throat> once we have this part, we want on the basis of these data the molar conductivity of AGI. So what we do is equation 1 plus equation 2 minus equation 3. Let's check it out. So we have this is the equation 1. Okay, I take it on the right hand side. So what I get is lambda 0 Na plus plus lambda 0 of I minus plus lambda 0 of Ag plus plus lambda 0 of NO3 minus minus of because I've written minus so minus of lambda 0 of Na plus minus because plus and minus gives you minus so this plus becomes minus so we have lambda 0 NO3 minus Okay, this is what we have. If I, what, what I do, summation of these two equations and then subtract this stuff. So now, on the basis of this, what gets cancelled is lambda 0 Na plus and lambda 0 Na plus, that is minus and minus. Okay, this gets cancelled. And lambda 0 NO3 minus and lambda 0 NO3 minus plus and minus gets cancelled. So what remains is, it's lambda 0 of Ag plus plus lambda 0 of I minus okay and that is of course gives you the molar conductivity of silver iodide isn't it so adding two equations and subtracting this we get the molar conductivity of silver iodide so what we need to do simple is we know the molar conductivity of sodium iodide silver nitrate and NaNO3 all right so we add these two and subtract from this so therefore the molar conductivity of silver iodide will be sodium iodide is how much 126.9 okay plus 133.4 minus 121.5 okay this is what we get okay so if you can work it out we get 138.8 and that's going to be more ohm inverse cm square mole inverse this is the value which we get if you want we can just check it out this value as well 126.9 133.4 we are going to add this you get 260.3 and then you subtract it. So you get 8 
138.8. Okay, you get it. Am I clear with this? So this is what the final answer is. Take it. So what you have done is addition of two and then subtracting it from the third. So first of all, we just found out whether we are getting it as because we are measuring what AGI. So whether we are getting AG plus and I minus, yes, we are getting it. And then the same mathematical operation has to be applied to the particular numerical values and you get the final answer. So I hope you have understood this. Yes, my dear friends, we move on to the next numerical and that is calculate the molar conductivities at zero concentration of calcium chloride and sodium sulfate and the data which is provided is of the ionic conductivities of calcium ions, chloride ions, sodium ions and sulfate ions. Okay? So, we go for. According to Kolas law, first of all we start with CaCl2. CaCl2 undergoes dissociation as Ca2 plus and 2Cl minus. Therefore, molar conductivity of CaCl2 will be equal to lambda 0 of Ca2 plus plus 2 into lambda 0 of Cl minus. So that is equal to calcium 2 plus the value is 104 plus Cl minus the value is 76.4 but then it is 2 of them. 2 chloride ions. So we have 104 plus 152.8 so that is equal to 256.8 ohm inverse cm square mole inverse okay this is the final answer okay it's as simple as that this is for CaCl2 we go for Na2SO4 dissociation is 2Na plus and 1 sulfate ion. So molar conductivity of Na2SO4 will be lambda 0 of Na plus but it will be 2 times plus lambda 0 of SO4 2 minus. So that is going to give me 2 into sodium ions it's 50.1 plus 159.6 so this gives me 100.2 plus 159.6 259.8 ohm inverse cm square mole inverse so this is the final answer okay so here we go simple answers calcium chloride sodium sulfate finding out the molar conductivity on the basis of ionic conductivities. I hope you have understood this. Yes, my dear friends, we go for the next numerical and which says about calculation of molar conductivity of acetic acid. We got the um, molar conductivity values of HCl, KCl as well as potassium acetate. So here we go. According to cole rouse law, what we can say is the molar conductivity of HCl is equal to lambda 0 of H plus plus lambda 0 of Cl minus. Molar conductivity of KCl is equal to lambda 0 of K plus plus lambda 0 of Cl minus. Molar conductivity of potassium acetate is equal to lambda 0 of CH3CO minus and lambda 0 of K plus. Okay, you can write on this way also K plus first and acetate ion later on. All right. So now this is equation one, two, and three. So if you can just work it out like this: equation one minus equation two plus equation three. Let's see whether we are getting acetic acid or not. Acetic acid is made up of CaCO minus and H plus. So let's work it out. So lambda zero H plus plus lambda 0 of Cl minus. Now it's minus sign my dear friends. So we have minus of lambda 0 of K plus. This minus and this plus becomes minus. So we have lambda 0 of Cl minus plus lambda 0 of CH3 CO minus plus lambda 0 of K plus. Okay, this is what we get. So now what can be cancelled? Yes, 
minus lambda 0 k plus n plus lambda 0 k plus gets cancelled plus lambda 0 cl minus and minus lambda 0 cl minus gets cancelled so what remains is lambda 0 of h plus plus lambda 0 of cs3 co minus and that my dear friends you know very well it gives you the molar conductivity of cs3 coh that's what we get okay the simple now is use this expression into this numerical values and you get the final answer so the final answer is 4.261 minus of 1.499 plus 1.132 so here we go 4.261 minus of 1.499 so it is 2.762 we add this to 1.132 so it gives me 3.894 so our final answer is 3.894 ohm inverse cm square mole inverse okay this is your final answer okay so i hope you have understood this numerical 